I'm from a grimy era, let's talk about it Gotta keep a pole, can't walk without it Did some things in the streets, but I won't talk about it See some things in the streets, but I won't talk about it I'm from a hood that's thorough, they don't play here And they don't play on these blocks, it ain't a daycare A new kid gets shot every day here I guess that's why my heart colder than the rain there DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's get straight into this one. Now, Stack Bundles was a rapper from Far Rockaway in Queens. Stack Bundles was one for RRS, the Rockaway Riot Squad, along with Chinks Drugs, Bino, and Core 2 Gs. Stacks were breaking to the underground hip hop scene in the early 2000s. After Stack Bundles connected with DJ Clue, he would appear on numerous DJ Clue mixtapes and begin to rep Desert Storm along with Fabulous, Paul Kane, Joe Button, and the A Team. Stacks would do a number of freestyles and songs with his Desert Storm label mates and also appear on DJs like DJ Envy, Cutmaster C, and Superstar J, and the list goes on. Stacks would even get exposure on Hot 97 on DJ Clue Monday night mixtapes and even got a chance to freestyle at funk flex on hot 97 stacks will also get a chance to display his talent in the dvd era on dvds like smack the come up Real Talk DVD and Hood Affairs, just to name a few. Bundles would eventually separate from DJ Clue and Desert Storm in the mid-2000s and sign with Jim Jones' Bird Gang. Stack Bundles along with Jim Jones, Max B, and Mel Matrix will record a lot of music together and eventually will put out M.O.B., members of the Bird Gang mixtape. Now around this time, Stacks will be featured on records like Your Dig with Jim Jones and The Weatherman, which featured Lil Wayne. But with all the success the promise and star was getting at the time, that'll all come to an end. Because sadly, on June 11th, 2007, Stack Bundles would be killed in his hometown at the age of 24 years old. Now, Stack Bundles was shot and killed in the lobby of his building in Red Fern Houses in Far Rockaway, Queens. Now, around 5 a.m., Stacks would be returning home after a night of partying at Club Stereo Nightclub, and Stacks was approached in his lobby, and he ended up getting shot in his neck and his head, and he was pronounced dead on the scene. Now, Stack Bundles definitely had a promising career. He had the charisma. He had the look. He had the swag. He had the lyrics. He definitely was a star. And maybe if he got a chance to get out the hood, he'll still be alive. Rest in peace, Stacks. Now, Raekwon is a rapper from one of the biggest rap groups to hit the hip-hop scene in the 90s. And even though it's been nearly 30 years since Ray and the War appeared on the scene, many believe they're still relevant to this day. Now, in Raekwon's book, From the Staircase to the Stage, he explained the struggles he faced at a young age, moving from the troubled streets of Brooklyn to Staten Island. Now, without a father being around, Raekwon turned to the streets. And just like many other people in his position, he almost became a victim of his circumstances. Now, before Raekwon and the who could put out their classic album for 36 Chambers and the chef could drop his classic verse on Cream before Raekwon can drop his classic album only built for Cuban links and put out singles for Ice Cream and Heaven or Hell, Raekwon will find himself in some trouble that he might not made it out of. Now even though the time period isn't so clear and Ray younger years he'll be shot in both legs, now supposedly Raekwon will be at the wrong place at the wrong time when the shootout was about to take place. Now according to the chef he says when things was about to go down he decided to stick around and watch from a nearby building lobby. Now one of the guys who were being shot at decided to run in that building lobby where Ray was and Raekwon would be shot in both of his legs by mistake. Now in order for Raekwon to get out of the way of the bullets he had to cross all his way out of this situation it was so many shots coming through like the only thing i could really do was try to hit the floor and kind of crawl out of that area now ray even goes on to say both bullets hit him right under his knees and it could have been possible to damage his walking ability and it also took him a long time to heal from his injuries it could have really damage your boy like walking walking perspective right now to the fullest now according to Raekwon he says he's grateful for being shot because it gave him time to sit down and basically make him see things in a much more positive outlook in life so even though this was a negative situation he found a way to turn it into something positive now not to mention the guy who shot Raekwon by accident called him and apologized to Ray and he also became an in-law of Raekwon later down the line but anyway, tell me what y'all think. Jump in that comment section. And if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend to tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One. <laughs>